happy mental health month. May is mental health month. So I hope that, um, that we all kind of reflect on our own needs, taking care of ourselves, taking care of the people around us. And I think this is a great time to talk about the community engagement teams, because that's one way that we, we here at Bernalillo County, um, therapists, peer supports can help take care of our community. These community engagement teams will help individuals and their families cope with effects of mental illness and substance abuse. And uh, we're going to be talking about our amazing partnership with YDI. And so Dr. Uh, Diego Gallegos is here and um, Diane Lopez, who I've, I've worked with both of them for many, many years, great friends of the county. Um, friends of myself, we've known each other for years, and I just have watched you guys make a tremendous difference in our community. Fifty years ago, there was a gentleman by the name of Larry Lopez, who was grieving the loss of his teenage son to a heroin overdose. So he got together with some of his friends and family and folks in the South Valley, and guess what? They came to the Bernalillo County Commission asking for some help. They said, help us do something to engage our young people in the South Valley. They don't have anything to do. They need help and support. Guess what? Bernalillo County stepped up to the plate, provided $50,000 and administrative support, and the South Valley Youth Development Project was born. That South Valley Youth Development Project is today Youth Development Inc. At their core, community engagement teams, or CETs, are driven by peers. These peers who have lived experience are able to respond to clients in the community and work to connect them to the supports they need to be healthy and successful. These peers have immediate access to a larger team of behavioral health clinicians and support in the event that the peer is unable to provide the needed support in the moment. The peer-driven team approach is what makes these CETs such a vital component in the behavioral health continuum. I love the idea that the folks who will be working with them, the program support workers, actually have either been challenged with mental health issues or have been involved in some type of substance issue. So that is so exciting. That's the way that YDI started. We had people that were people from the streets who loved being out there. So this gives us an opportunity to continue that work in the communities, in the streets, and we are excited about it. This is a really, really good thing, a continuation of, of the great projects and programs that we're doing. And I believe uh, we've got about 20 programs that our Behavioral Health Initiative um, is, has implemented, and we're very proud of that. Ms. Borges Baca, on behalf of YDI, I want to thank the county for putting your trust in us 50 years ago and again today. Thank you very much. We are so excited to be with you. So as a reminder, to access these services, please call 505-910-6357.